So, um, here's how this one's gonna go. Um, on my America side, down more closer to Latin America. Um, remember, like, that time? <laughs> you and your ancestors. I mean, I, I hear some of the locals, they still remember. Uh, I mean, in, on the inside of governmental, we called it White City. Um, it's like the, what is it, the Cucina? Or is that, I mean, that's kitchen in Italian. C-U... And then, I mean, we really could go C-H-I, because I know that's N-Y-A-X, right? Um, I'm a directory kid. Here's the thing. I have Paleo-Hebrew uh, roots from way back in a directory that's off limits to public. Um, I have, like, entombed, like, uh, Giza Pyramid-style, like, tombs of once upon a hippopotamus like ivory pomegranate staff of like a stick in the, like a stick with a ornamental whatever yeah okay uh i have like special priority so like that's one level of my surface appearance as star 1978 nicole cataruza 8378 um here's the thing you are in what's called a static directory uh, as far as I'm concerned, at Energy Star uh, with one closed loop circuit. There is nothing beyond me and this lifetime and this envelope. You, for your purpose of humans, exist here and now, and that's it. In the Cucina, I used to say that I much preferred the uh, ancestral white city to the here and now. I prefer the dead to the living. Why do I say that? Not because the people down in Mexico City weren't wonderful when I went there. They were, they were fine. Um, it's just, uh, it's, a, it's a way of trying to be nice to say in the larger grand schematic, I'm Ma, M-A, and the rest of you are somebody else's sons, S-O-N-S. That's your importance to me as grains of sand on a large beach that I'm responsible for. Somewhere inside royal or governmental that has me locked out as some piece of shit, I don't wear a uniform because I'm not supposed to have to. I'm supposed to be with, like, and here's the thing, right? Okay, so I got Coco Puffs, right? Like, he's one of my Mexico City guys. Uh, when I'm playing Cucina, right, his favorite daughter of, like, all time, like, if you could meet, like, a historical ancient sacred that you just fall in love with, like a movie star, like, out of some other database or, like, era or, like, what just flies in and, like, pops in the scene, right? Okay, like, you get along, like, I mean, I just get, I get along with everybody, but here's the thing. That particular gentleman who asked me to call him Coco Puff to distinguish him and his career from the other not so distinguishable characters for certain meeting with my people, um, like, like it's an honor to get like a tag name, and then for like my people at my level to know who you are, and like seek you out because you're reputable. Just saying. I don't know where we lost you. Like, there's, like, Lockheed and Lockhead. Uh, the Lockheads and the Lockheeds before I got here. L-O-C-K-H-E-A-D. <laughs> oh, my God, the Lockheads. Oh, we just always Lockheads, don't we? Yeah, not with everybody. Uh, right, somebody, like, um, had a problem with, like, shares and stakes and stuff, right? Okay, so there's one kid... <laughs> One, here I am, oh my god, second appearance, whatever. Um, and they, like, did something with my shit and threw me into, like, some isolation unit. Like, pretend it exists, just move everybody out of the area so and off everybody's schedule so nobody ever asks any questions while we play with stuff. Right, okay, and then they made, like, my cucumber... You know, like, the most eligible bachelor ever in, like, celebrity, like, cucumber status. Right, yeah, okay, like, no. <laughs> built for Star 1978. We were built together. How directory kids come. 
what I don't get is all of those like Astrid energy star, that's my energy component who has to call some form of human at some level. She's real, she's respective as all hell. Yeah, she sure fucking is. Because she's mad as all fucking hell in real life. Her other component for people who have jobs that know what the fuck we're talking about. Supposed to stay classified. Yeah, no fucking shit, asshole. Then why am I fucking walking with two baby peeled carrots when I was fucking built for a cucumber? You tell me that. In white hood. Great. So here's what I see. I see a lot of fucking meetings... You shitbags at governmental something level that locked me the fuck out. Taking all my beautiful recommendations as your own, going to coach and whatever. Picking all new kids, making it like it's your idea. You are on my fucking roll call. I have your date, your name, your number, your energy fucking signature. The minute I fucking open my eyes and I am without a fucking cucumber and you are somewhere else in the fucking directory, playing it off like you're some fucking rock star. There's inside voice records... Which, since I'm locked on the fucking outside, I take private confidential inside meetings. I send myself a reminder through some humans. And then I get in trouble for that too. So now, which way is it, fucking useful human? Because I haven't found any of you just yet. I, then here's the ready. Like, I have, like, the Sean Pauls, who are, like, really awesome. But then, like, the fucking white guys change the lingo and the directory, and now all of a sudden everything they're saying is, is backwards and wrong. And I'm like, right, I just need you to keep reporting that in. Because here's the thing. Because I'm keeping a record in outer space. Um, so here's the thing. I've got, like, I, I used to say, okay, so my cucumber, right, being the tall, right, okay, he's the size of a tree, is the same size of a cucumber in comparison to two baby peeled carrots. Great, okay, so Jason Romer and Tia Frio are baby peeled carrots. I don't want either one of them. Right, okay, so Alexander exists in my world of outer space astronauts because he's worth keeping. Um, and it doesn't matter. I don't need uh, any peeled carrots to get Alexander on the field. So I don't understand why that should stand in my way of a cucumber. I still want my cucumber built the way that I build my cucumber before I get here so that we humans don't fuck with the settings of my cucumber. Are we fucking clear? Like, I'm not fucking human. I don't fucking give a shit about you, your kids, your fucking grains of sand, what the fuck you stole in, like, ideas, because you seem to be, like, escalating in the fucking system, and I seem to be getting the fucking raw end of the goddamn deal. Bullets fucking work faster, because by the time you get out of a fucking meeting and you cross-reference, and then we have, like, okay, so now on the calendar, what are we gonna do, like, like another two weeks from now? You know how much fucking shit breaks in two weeks, you fucking shit bags? Oh, here's the other thing. Ready for this one? I'm like, yeah, okay, so great. So I got, like, Brad Pitt on the Hollywood outside, just like my radio guys. I'm um, like, they forgot about us. And then I got the governmental insiders that actually got in, I don't know fucking how, by skin of their teeth, apparently. Uh, and then it's like, wait a minute, is there, like, you heard about the lion and the mouse and then the thorn in the paw? Great, okay, so I'm a lion with a thorn in my paw, I don't know how the hell it got there, but Astrid's checking on the back end of my ID, because her and I are closed loop together, and we, neither one of us give a fuck about peeled baby carrots and the rest of you grains of sand, she's trying to help me get to my cucumber, she's a private secretary for the two of us, and there's like, we just don't give a fuck about any of you anymore. So now, here's the thing, right, okay, so, I'm like, alright, so if there's, like, small, short, and small dick guys out there with pocket protectors, calculators, they don't want to lose stuff, they're having, like, temper tantrums in the majority, something, 
nobody gives a shit about, right, got it, okay, and then there's, like, other colored guys that are more worried about that than anything, then there's some union guys fighting over some black oil or grease or nobody gives a shit in machinist level, right, okay, so there's so many levels of I don't give a fuck, all right, are there any, like, handsome cucumber-sized guys can make, like, a private quiet team or maybe, like, I don't know, however many you need in silent majority to get a match service together just for me and my cucumber, like, I mean, we were built before we got here, I thought this was going to be easy for you Ford guys, right, on the back of a black Ford truck, whatever, nobody gives a shit, okay, like, can you get some Hollywood guys, like, they don't have a problem with ego and whatnot, they're already married, happily, whatever, and they can see that he's unhappy and we belong together, great, yeah, okay, even if you don't see it, just get on that committee and vote yes, thank you, and put a date so we can get tomorrow moving in the right fucking direction, because I'm so tired of grains of sand, it's fucking ridiculous.